Well, hello there. So in this video, I am going to be showing you my go-to hairstyles that I like to wear as a nursing student in nursing school. So this is my hair in a braid slash twist. I like to start out with a braid at the root and then twist all the way down to the ends of my hair as you can see here. I like braiding my hair at the roots because it gives me a nice stretch. So in nursing school, there are some strict policies, especially when it comes to the beauty aspect. So in my school that I attend, we are not allowed to have our hair on our collar when we are in our scrubs. So you can have a variety of different hairstyles as long as it's not touching the collar of your scrubs. You may find that you may have some professors that you can get over with your hair down touching your top of your scrubs, but then you may have some professors who will not allow it. So it's just best to just follow the rules and just put your hair up and be in the safe zone. I personally rarely wear my hair out when I am in my scrubs just for the simple fact that I just want to be comfortable and have my hair just out of the way while I am learning or while I'm at clinicals or however. There are a lot of standards that you have to follow while you are in your scrubs like no piercings and no nail polish, no fake eyelashes, those things. So here I know you guys see I have piercings in my ears but when I am in my scrubs I have to take them out which I normally do so I don't get to wear any nail polish any clear nail polish or anything like that so it's just fine you know it's just temporary until I graduate so I don't mind it so I will admit that I do not try to really get my hair looking super sleek or super um, how would you say like slayed or anything like that just for the simple fact of i've been in nursing school for a little while now so for me i'm very tired you know very stressed out i do work overnight so this is me in the morning so i just at least try to get my hair decent enough you know i just feel like i see the same people every week <laughs> so you know it's just it's kind of hard to explain you would just kind of have to go through the motions <laughs> Here I'm just going to use my afro pig just to uplift a little bit of the roots, not too much because I don't want to lose any part of the curl pattern. So I'm just going to lift up my roots just a bit to give myself a little bit of volume. This hairstyle, I am just gonna put my hair in a bun with a side part that I had. Like I said before, I wasn't really concerned about getting it laid down to my scalp. I was just like, let me put this hair up in a bun and go on about my day. So do not mind the little humps and bumps and things like that. So. <laughs> Trying to sleep, but the silence is haunting this room every night. I can stand to feel this way. My body's creeping out your name. I'm just putting the bun like when you're doing a ponytail you wrap around once and then the second time you do not pull the hair all the way through you just leave it in a bun. Here I'm just going to take my spray bottle and spritz a little bit on my hand just to get rid of some of the flyaways at the front of my hair. Y'all know I got to have my handy dandy head scarf. This is just to lay down some of the flyaways at the front of my hair. I'll leave this baby on for about 10 minutes while I go make my lunch. And voila, here we are, simple, quick, and ready to go. Okay, y'all, so here's another day, another hairstyle that we are going to do here. 
I rarely use a comb to part my hair. I don't know what it is. I just love my fingers to do it. I know it doesn't always come out straight, but like I said, I'll just be trying to go. I'm just going to be real about it. I'll be tired. I'll just be like, let me do something so quick. I got to get out of here. So this is me just parting my hair down the middle with my finger so I can get my hair up in two little buns. Like I said, it just ain't going to be slick, honey. It's not. It's going to have a little bumps. It's going to have a little humps. I mean, it's just going to be bumping up. I don't care. I got to go. I'm tired. Let me tell y'all, if y'all see a nursing student, please give them a hug because we be needing it. We be needing it. I we do. And the funny thing is, is like the days that your hair is not really popping and all of that stuff. That's when you get the most compliments. You just be like, OK, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna twist up these ends and then I'm gonna twist it up into two small little buns. And there you have it all done. Let's go. And here we are another day. These are my light blue scrubs. Light blue scrubs are known for us being in the lab working on our mannequins and things like that. Our navy blue scrub stands for our dirty scrubs. These scrubs are normally when we're at clinicals, we're actually dealing with other humans and other patients and real patients and things like that. So they consider the navy blue ones our dirty scrubs versus our lab scrubs. This is my number one go-to hairstyle. I just parted down the middle in the front and then I just pull all my hair back to the back of my head and this and I just put it in a bun. So for this bun, I am actually going to take my hair and put it in a ponytail and pull the hair all the way through. And then I'm going to twist my end of my ponytail and then twist it around to put into a bun. I will take my spray bottle and spritz some water on my hair to lay down some of the flyaways before putting on the headscarf. And there you have it, all done, time to go. Here we are, another, another day, y'all. Here we go. It is Afro puffing time. I am gonna be doing an Afro puff. 
please go check out my afro puff tutorial video i'll have the link in the description box below so you can see how i achieve my afro puff I also forgot to mention that I did not need to use any product for any of these hairstyles because my hair was just super moisturized. So pretty much water and my Afro pick and some rubber bands was the only things I used throughout all these hairstyles. And there you go, honey, Afro Puffin. And this will be a last hairstyle that I'm going to show you guys. This one is just a flat twist in the front and then pulled down to a side low bun. This flat twist that I'm getting ready to do is considered my lazy flat twist method. I normally don't flat twist like this, but this is just a hurry up, kind of get it out the way. So I'm just pretty much twisting my hair. The first two pieces I twist my hair and then I'm just gonna pull hair to each twist and then twist all the way down. This is my lazy method. I actually do a better job at flat twisting my hair, but like I said, I just be trying to go. You're going to take the flat twist and just move it inside with the ponytail. If you find that your hair is not long enough to reach the back to the ponytail, then all you do is clip it with a bobby pin or a clip. there you have it i actually really love this hairstyle i love the flat twist in the front and going into a ponytail or a side bun it just gives it such a cute little chic little look i really hope this video helped i know when i started nursing school i was struggling with trying to figure out how to do my hair and how does natural hair fit in the medical field but hopefully i inspired someone I know natural hair is not talked enough in the medical field or in nursing school and things like that. So hopefully this reaches out to you. So I want to say thank you all for watching and tuning into my channel. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.